Later in this lesson, I will explain some subtle and advanced responses that you can use, especially as you become more experienced at testimony. However, regardless of whether you are a beginning or experienced expert witness, let me share with you a set of simple guidelines that I've learned and acquired over the years. First, you can answer most cross-examination questions with a simple statement of fact. Alternatively, you can respond with the following simple expressions. Yes. No. I don't know. I don't recall. And I did not understand your question. You should never ramble on in your answers. Only provide in your answer what the question requests. You should also never answer questions with phrases that express uncertainty or that begin with, I guess, or I believe, or I presume, or I think. You cannot hedge your opinions in court the way you might at a party or in coffee conversation with friends. Your expertise and your science should enable you to draw conclusions and present opinions that are correct to a reasonable degree of medical or scientific certainty based on your technical knowledge, the work, and the evidence that you have interpreted. Answers that begin with technically weak phraseology will not meet the legal burdens of proof required in a court of law. As a tactic, though, you should leave some leeway when relating a series of events or a list of facts. Do not simply say, that's everything. Instead, you should always say something like, that's all I recall right now. You should also allow the attorney to finish his question completely, and you should wait for one to two seconds before answering. In addition to providing your attorney with an opportunity to object to or comment on the opposing attorney's question, this will give you a bit of time to think about the question and your best answer. Finally, you should never sound arrogant or condescending or make jokes or lighthearted remarks. Those kind of words can be much too easily turned around on you by opposing attorneys.